Coming up on this edition of the Desert Vision, we speak with the general in charge of the Afghanistan evacuation efforts in Camp Biri and the service members supporting the effort. We'll also look at Camp Arif John's Labor Day extravaganza, as well as the wreath laying for the 20th annual Patriots Day. Welcome to the Desert Vision, presented by U.S. Army Central. I'm Specialist Max Huth. And I'm Specialist Juan Carlos Izquierdo. The evacuation of Afghanistan was one of the largest non-combative evacuation operations in the history of the United States military. Staff Sergeant Bob Yarbrough spoke with the commander of the operation in Camp Beering, Brigadier General Joseph Reel, on the scale of the undertaking. They had the mission to get all these civilians out of uh, Afghanistan and we're here to assist them. So that's what we've done here is set up a camp um, so for sustainment and for onward movement back to the United States. It's historical because it hasn't been done in so long. Last time anybody can think about it was probably Saigon, 1975. And there they at least had helicopters that they could fly out to the U.S. Navy, right? Here it was just one little airport trying to protect everybody up there and get them onto those flights and back. And it took um, the help of several different agencies and multiple countries to get this done. There's 15 different units here. We have five different departments and federal agencies. And I'm telling you right now, this is one of the best run operations I've seen. Everybody's very cooperative. The collaboration has been incredible and the things have been going very smooth. Just watching the faces of relief of the evacuees, watching the young soldiers taking care of the babies and the, and the children, it's unbelievable. Tears at the heartstrings. Very honored to even take part of it. Those in command of the operation were not the only ones feeling the immense gravity of the situation. On ground in Qatar, service members were operating hangars to house the qualified evacuees as they went through the immigration process. I managed to speak to them about their nose to the grindstone attitude. My unit called on me to come help out the, the, the people of Afghanistan. And yeah, that's really what I'm here for is just to help the people and that in of itself is its own reward. It's all military branches. We have Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, everybody's here helping, uh, working together. And there's really no friction between any of them. They just jump in line. Uh, we have ranks from the enlisted E1 all the way to the top. And we have officers, O1. All, I've seen colonels running around picking up trash. So anyone, they don't care what the rank is, they're here to help. I want to tell everyone back home about the uh, amazing people and the amazing work that service members did. Like even in a really cruddy situation, you can always find good out of it. And the good that I saw came from people in uniform, people here helping one another. And that's what I'm gonna tell the people back home. We'll have more from U.S. Army Central after this. In accordance with the updated guidance by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, all service members, federal employees, contractors, and visitors, regardless of vaccination status, are to wear a mask in any indoor setting on all Department of Defense installations. With the emergence of the Delta variant, COVID-19 cases are on the rise again. Make sure you follow CDC guidelines in order to prevent the spread. This month marks the 20th anniversary since the September 11th attacks. Sergeant Sam DeLeon attended the wreath laying ceremony here at Camp Erfjan to honor those we lost two decades ago. A wreath laying ceremony was held on Camp Erfjan, Kuwait to remember the victims of the terrorist attacks of September 11th, 2001. Lieutenant General Ronald Clark, commander of U.S. Army Central, spoke about remembering and honoring the lives that were lost. A tragic day where we witnessed unparalleled sacrifice by heroes who valued service over self. And today we lift those victims and their families in prayer. We will never forget. General Clark also said the wreaths are a symbol of honor and they represent eternal life and resurrection. They also serve as a reminder that even though life goes on, we will never forget the victims and their families. In Kuwait for Task Force Spartan, I'm Sergeant Sam DeLeon.
On September 6th, we once again celebrated the American Labor Movement with Labor Day. Camp Air of John celebrated with games, competitions, and most importantly, the opening of the pool. I spoke to service members on the importance of relaxing in a deployed environment. Yeah, so they got like some uh, barbecue going on, uh, the beanbag tossing, I don't know what it's called. Just a couple of games, some putt putt. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've never been anywhere where it's like 130 degrees every day. So having some water to chill out in and relax in definitely helps it a lot. I think everyone has their own struggles being stationed somewhere where there isn't a lot to do. And um, the pool certainly helps get everyone in a better mood, kind of reminds you of home a little bit and serves as a great way to kind of spend some time. Um, I always bring a couple of friends out here, a couple of coworkers. We always have a lot of fun, kind of experience a lot more together. We already spend a lot of time together, so uh, just out here, have fun. It's definitely a cool like shout out to the life back home kind of reminds everyone that you know like you can live somewhat of a normal day over here. Honestly after like a long hard day at work um, it's always nice to be able to come out here and just relax a little bit. You know I'm just grateful that y'all um, hold these events. Um, it's a lot of fun. Well that will do it for the Desert Vision. Thanks for checking in. For more stories check our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash US Army Central. For U.S. Army Central, I'm Specialist Max Youth. And I'm Specialist Juan Carlos Izquierdo. Patton's own. Always forward.